Our next scenario deals with a 2004 Toyota Prius base model with the 1.5 liter engine. Now, the Prius is a relatively new car, and this is a vehicle that you may not be very familiar with. You may have never looked at one before. The good news about the Pegasus tool is that hooked into the Identifix database or the Direct Hit database, what we are doing is we're adding somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 new fixes every single month. So with the Pegasus tool, you have access to all kinds of new information and a growing database that gets added to every single month. That means that new information, new fixes is right at your fingertips. You never have to worry about being out of date. Very, very powerful. In this particular case, we've got a couple of codes stored with a check engine light on, a P1121 and a P1116. Both of these codes indicate a potential problem with the cooling system. So we're going to go ahead and do a search on the first code, the P1121, and see what we come up with. Now, I've got a hotline archive. I've got some technical service bulletins. Let's take a look at the hotline archive first and see what information that we have. 2004 Toyota Prius, coolant flow control valve problems, and the codes match up to what we're dealing with, P1121, P1116. So let's take a look at what this hotline archive talks about. And once again, that's pretty small, so remember, we can always make this a little bit bigger, and we can go through and read the information available to us. Now look at this. This is actually talking about a specific factory technical service bulletin that has to deal with this problem, bulletin number EGO24-05 right here. Now I can look at that information very, very easily. All I need to do is go back, and now I can reach down here and hit my TSB button. Now that pulls up all the TSBs I have on this car. And there's our TSB, EGO24-05. Let's go ahead and select that. Now, I have the factory technical service bulletin, once again, that I can look through and manipulate very, very easily indeed, right here at my fingertips. So once again, not only do we have the real world tests and information to fix this problem, but we also have factory technical service information right at your fingertips to fix this problem also. Why is this important? The last thing you wanna do as a technician is get into a situation where you're making a repair that's under a warranty or under a recall or something like that for your customer. You always wanna have that information right at your fingertips so you never charge a customer where they shouldn't be charged and you're giving that customer the best possible information so that they can make an informed decision. Having these TSBs at your fingertip is absolutely key.